One of my favorite producers, Apollo Brown, has been a part of some amazing projects like Dice Game with Guilty Simpson, Words Paint Pictures with Big Poo from Little Brother, and of course Anchovies with Planet Asia. He's also appeared on several other artists' albums like West Side Gun, and of course his group The Ugly Heroes with Red Pill and Verbal Kent. Now of course there's plenty more than that, but I do think you get the idea. Now, one thing about Apollo Brown, I've always enjoyed his production style. I do believe he's shown lots of versatility and of course his skill when it comes to the type of artist that he is working with. For example, let's take the Brown tape that was originally Ghostface Killer's 12 Reasons to Die, produced by Adrian Young. Now typically when an album is made, the producer will go ahead and make the beat and then the MC will go ahead and rap on top of it. This time it was actually done backwards where Apollo Brown was given the raps and he did have to construct those raps to work within the beat. A very weird and difficult task. Nonetheless, it was pulled off and pulled off very well for not only one of his best work in his discography but also Ghostface. And of course Razkaz who I have made videos on previously, another talented MC. One thing about him that I do appreciate is that whenever you do listen to his music, you will always leave it gaining some kind of knowledge or at least questioning what you just heard, which to me is a very noteworthy thing. Now I haven't heard this album in a pretty long time, so it definitely was great to go ahead and revisit this one again. Just in case some of you are not really too familiar with Razkaz, one of the first tracks on here, How To Kill God, is a very good introduction as to what you will be getting into when you do listen to this artist. There's tons of knowledge, tons of craziness getting thrown at you. You will leave this album really questioning what you just heard. But sticking to the same track, How To Kill God, there is a line on here where he says, same people that rape and beat you, teach you. A fairly simple line yet it really says so much. This definitely reminds me of Malcolm X when he said, only a fool would let his enemy teach his children. Educationally speaking, sending your kids to learn from the very people who have historically kept you down. The very same people that made getting an education period very difficult. Now this is a very dark and unfortunate part of our history, but this is just one line out of three verses in this song. Just an example as to how deep the content can really be when we are dealing with Razkaz. Of course, the production side on here is amazing. Apollo Brown is one of my favorites for a reason. I really do love all the chops on here, the samples on here. This one came out back in 2014. Now we're in 2020, six years later, and it still holds up. We do have tracks like H2O, which really is incredible. I love the sample on this one. Definitely one of my favorite tracks in this whole album really is great of course deliver us from evil where he's playing with those church pianos on here yet another great one roses which has a very warm feel to it very pleasant feel to it definitely nice strawberry is amazing as well i just love those soul samples guys it never gets old to me even the track giraffe pussy as ridiculous of a name that that is i do actually think this one is one of the more one of the most standing out tracks on here just because sonically it's very different from everything else on here of course, we do have features in Exhibit on here, which is pretty cool. How often do you see Exhibit on his track? We do also have Bishop Lamont on here, Royce the 5'9", which is definitely cool. However, I do want to talk about the track 48 Laws Part 1. I really love what Razkaz did on this one. Of course, he is referencing the book 48 Laws of Power, but I do like this one line from him where he says, And Puff Daddy perfected rule number 7, get others to do your work but take all the credit. Personally, I just thought that was a really great line. I'm not going to get into the whole Puff Daddy thing, but kind of is true actually what he is saying. But nonetheless, I really do love when rappers do the whole 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 thing. When you do hear the song, you will know what I mean. It really is great. Now, like I did say earlier, when you are dealing with an MC like Razkaz, one video is just not going to cut it when it comes to the amount of content on here. He definitely does deliver some great bars. Like in the track Deliver Us From Evil, I really do like this one line from Razkaz where he says, and white Christians mission assisting the end of times, gonna flip their wigs when Jesus the cast the good times, black skin, big lips, hair full of dreads, probably got his music bumping, why he can't hear our prayers. Now this one did make me laugh because what I do think he's talking about, and of course I could be wrong, but when he does say that white Christians are gonna flip when they see that Jesus is the cast of good times, the cast of good times is all black aka Jesus is not white and I do love how he is closing out that part when he says Jesus cannot hear our prayers because his music is just too damn loud really is great stuff and as I did mention previously this is something I really do appreciate about Razkaz is that when you do hear his music you will leave it gaining so much knowledge if not questioning what you just heard which for me I think is a great thing growing up we do learn a lot of stuff from our parents our friends our teachers and this is typically newly acquired information that goes without question 
This is just stuff that we do adopt as part of our own knowledge until something in life eventually may question that. And to have someone challenge you on your own knowledge definitely can help you grow as a person, learn new perspectives, and even learn the ugly truth. Now I don't know if that really is his intention, I could totally be over analyzing, but I will give him the benefit of the doubt because the music is great. Overall, this album is still as great as it was when I first heard it. Six years later and it still holds up, definitely is dope, really does show the talent that is Apollo Brown, Raz Kaz, and of course everyone else that did have a hand in this album. Also just a side note, this video was a viewer request, so shoutouts to you for requesting this one, definitely do appreciate it. If any of you guys do want to hear me talk about a different album, go ahead and leave it down below and I will get that out to you as soon as I can. But that's going to be all from me guys, thank you so much for watching, make sure you do thumbs up the video, also subscribe if you are new, but until next time guys, I will see you all in the next one.